Hello friends, welcome back. War 3, we're taking on Street Bloody Savages, and what has become a recurring theme this season is that my iOS continues to stop recording videos and losing the videos, so I don't have my team selection, but uh, I'm going in with Warlock as my primary attacker, and Namor and Symbiote Supreme. So it's actually back up in Tier 1 this war, uh, because there were some matchups on my normal lane that I could not counter, and take on the second part of my path in tier two. So uh, I did come in as uh, backup on this hidden node. There was a havoc there. You can see somebody went in and uh, didn't do very much. So I had to come in with Warlock and uh, take him out. So we're up on tier two now. We've got an Annihilus on uh, Vigor and Recovery. Symbiote Supreme, pretty much the perfect Annihilus counter on any path. Um, so you'll notice here that uh, I don't really get very good luck with the stagger. So I do, you know, he nullifies the cosmic rod at the beginning of the fight, uh, but the stagger expires before the vigor uh, node comes back up. Or maybe he gets the furies, yeah. So he gets the furies, um, all my staggers expire, and uh, then he gets the vigor node there. So pretty much the only way to beat this fight is to, you know, survive long enough to get to your special three. Uh, and then just nuke the crap out of him with bleeds. And you'll see that's that's pretty much exactly what happens. Mistime the special one, that's a really tricky one. It's got that like double double lunge on it. Um, fortunately it carries me up to my S3. Uh, but you see just you know just two or three hits there from Annihilus really just you know just kills my health down. Kills my health down? What am I even saying? <laughs> Anyways. So uh, I'm just laying into him with the bleeds. Got six bleeds up. Uh, this is only a 455. You can see that's just the amount of damage. Um, I still run five out of five deep wounds, and that is actually enough to kill him. Uh, just about. Uh, he does land that special two, but I block it. Very difficult to dodge that special two. And then one more special three from me uh, finishes him off. So I was pretty sure I didn't need Symbiote Supreme for the rest of my path. Uh, there was a, another Annihilus mini on Boss Island, and then there's a Heimdall. Um, that I could have taken if I wanted to, or needed to, rather. Um, so, yeah. Alright, moving right along, we've got a Havoc. This is up on the Buffet Recovery Indomitable node. Uh, obviously, we're going to go in with Warlock here. Uh, you know, this is... Uh, I have had an, an interesting time, you know, trying to use, uh, maybe not necessarily consciously, um, but you know, using void less and less for this path up here. Um, you know, in the past, my thinking has always been, you know, void is is good because it's constant damage with the degen, and you can reverse the healing. But um, I think in in the meta of of war right now, uh, the champions that I'm seeing up on this, you know, buffet and vigor and recovery path, really don't typically lend themselves to void's abilities. Uh, you know, champions like Havoc, Void is very difficult uh, to play against. Um, you know, Domino, Domino, I've gotten wrecked by Domino with Void so many times. I know she causes the debuffs and fear of the Void to fail, and it's just not not a good time. So, um, you know, the fights may take a little bit longer because Warlock's damage isn't as good as Void's. Um, but I think he is he might be the stronger, you know, just straight up heal block champion uh, overall. So. You can see this, this you know, I, I did take a, uh, a combo there, or a heavy attack rather, from Havoc, uh, which I'm going to heal up, but, you know, he, he pretty much handles that fight uh, way quicker than Void can, uh, and with far less effort also. <clears throat> Alright, so, how many hits did I take there? Two or three? Two, okay. Right, so we're going to go up and heal up now. Uh, we've got a Buffet Domino. Uh, I didn't show myself boosted here. I, I did this entire path save for the final mini boss in one set of boosts, which was also nice to be able to do. I uh, wasn't able to show that though. All right, so we've got a buffet domino. You see, I've got the just the light attack and champion boosts. Uh, I'm going to add a health boost here, and then an invulnerability boost, just to kind of protect myself against you know shenanigans from domino. You know, I I. I will preach on that she is she is way too broken of a defender with her evades. Um, our opponents are running dodge this this war, so uh, and this node especially uh, has increased evade accuracy, so she's going to be evading more than normal. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out in this specific fight is that 
uh, since I'm running Resonate Mastery and this person is running Willpower, she will be power draining and, and um, degening whenever I place a weakness debuff on her. However, uh, you'll notice that uh, I'm kind of playing around the threshold of a first bar of power, so she's actually going lucky a lot more than I want her to. Uh, and once I notice this, um, I kind of have to, to back off a bit and uh, make sure that my combos don't take her above a par bar of power. Let herself power drain it back down uh, and then go back in again. So, you can see, she actually did hit into me once, uh, which triggered my first indestructible and then backed off. It was just an absolute miracle that she didn't lay into me with another four hits and uh, combo me into oblivion. So, you can see now I've wisened up to the power drain, um, basically going in with four hits, backing off, letting the power drain do its work. Uh, and this way, I, you know, she's never going to get lucky. Uh, I don't have to worry about baiting out a special or dodging a special, and then she just goes down. So, you know, once again, Warlock just destroys this domino, whereas I think Void uh, leaves a little bit too much for chance. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just think that uh, me bringing Void may be a, a rarer occurrence going forward, but we'll see. All right, so we're going to heal up Warlock again. Uh, this is a nice Warlock heavy war. We've got a debuff immune Mr. Sinister. On uh, He's only 455, but, uh, you know, again, Warlock, just a, uh, an insane counter to Mr. Sinister. Uh, since it's also a special lock 1 node, I won't have access to my, um, my Brutal Special 2 and the Armor Break. Um, however, I don't want to use my special one at all because it removes infections uh, in order to power drain Sinister, and I, you know, I don't want either of those things to happen. I want him to be gaining power so that I can cycle his specials, and I also do not, under any circumstances, want the infections to drop off because that's the entire point of this fight. Using Warlock is to block his regeneration. Uh, so you can see, you know, we're only you know 30 seconds in, and he's already already pretty much half down. And, you know, even without Without access to my extra damage, uh, Warlock is just, you know, a perfect counter to Sinister. Uh, and that's what he was designed for. He was designed to counter this fight. He's designed to counter Havoc. Uh, designed to counter Sabretooth. So, this is not as long as a fight as the previous war, for sure, uh, on that debuff immune critical resistance node. So, Warlock makes quick work of him. Alright, so I went to bed happy with uh, performance of the war so far. Uh, woke up today and uh, we talked about our approach for the boss island and I was uh, I requested this Korg on the left side so this is a uh, um, what is it unblockable special one and then increased physical resistance so um, no energy resistance so I'll be doing a little, a little extra energy damage returning thorns damage to Korg uh, from Namor's armor uh, other than that, it's a pretty standard Korg fight. You know, I'm trying to, as I usually do, push him to a special two. It's far easier to dodge. Um, I'm comfortable with the SP1, even though I get tagged by it uh, a little later in this fight. Other than that, it's sit and wait, bait out the heavy attacks since he's stun immune, uh, and then go back in. A couple of intercepts when I feel uh, good about it. Uh, holding my special three, watching my stacks of outrage. Uh, I'm just going to back off here, 27, and then I think when it hits 28, that's when I go ahead and launch it. And uh, it's about to hit 29, so I, I feel like we're in a good position here to uh, bait out another heavy and then immediately go in with uh, a 5-hit combo, uh, and then Imperious Rex will trigger in the middle of that combo, and I'll be able to launch my second SP3. So uh, that uh, first one shattered his shield. I find that it's really difficult to kind of time, you know, both in both sp3s and you know have them both execute when the shield is down um so i usually just kind of stopped trying uh because it's it's guaranteed that at least one of them will you know if the first one takes down the shield uh then the second one will do maximum damage so so he comes out of the special three and immediately launches his sp1 which i take a hit on uh so this is the second war in a row where i've been unable to land a mega sp2 against a korg uh, because the AI just, you know, didn't want to do what I wanted it to do. So uh, we've still got the Fury up, uh, so we did uh, a decent chunk of damage, but we kind of have to reset uh, Void's playing cycle. Got about a minute left, not too concerned at this point. 
the plan here is uh, I, I know I'm not going to get back up to uh, 30 stacks of Outrage. Uh, so I'm just kind of racing to my, my special three again, and then I'm going to launch it and then use the, the single Fury, uh, hopefully with uh, just a bunch of basic combos to take him down. So I'm going to go for a full combo here. Um, I probably should have done a few more hits rather than execute it right away, uh, but I was kind of wary about where his power meter was. I didn't want to take him too close up to a special three. I think he's just over, over a bar of power at the moment. So the special three does a lot of damage. He's at uh, one bar of power, bait out one more heavy, and then uh, one more special two, and then this combo should do it in. I do end up triggering Imperius Rex for a third, or for a, was it the fourth time? Second time Imperius Rex, fourth special three, that's right. And I believe this one kills him outright, so, uh, you know, not, a, not as clean a fight as I would have liked, um, and the AI wasn't that cooperative. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy to get out of there with the full attack bonus. So uh, this was a, a not close war early. Uh, we kind of made it close late. Uh, the straight bloody savages did come out with a victory. Uh, I think we only lost by, I don't know, three, maybe four death difference. Uh, so, again, really close. Um Pretty good war for me personally, though. You know, no deaths again. Riding that hot streak. Uh, we'll see when or if that ends. Uh, low potion use again for the third war in a row. Really, really, really happy about that. Uh, not happy that we're one and two, but you know, it is what it is. That's about it. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me. And uh, we'll see you next time.